Hello everyone, welcome to today's Align Your Mind video. We are chatting all about fear of failure and what that looks like in your life and what it looks like in your business. I want to chat about this topic today because I feel like fear becomes this block in between where you are and what you do um, and versus where you want to go and where you're headed. So if you think about this fear of failure, fear of failure comes from this need to um, please, this need to be seen, this need to be heard, um, and the desire to make an impact and then being so fearful that maybe that impact won't resonate the same way with people who you think or want to um, reach with your message. So if you really, really think about it, fear of failure comes from a fear of being judged. It comes from an underlying fear of not feeling uh, worthy or good enough in having what it is that you desire and where you want to go. So when I think about this idea of fear of failure, I, I always like to preface this idea with that it's not ultimately the truth for you. Like the fear that you create, the fear that is in your mind, the fear that is impacting all of the decisions that you make are not necessarily the truth because a lot of the times we create these stories in our minds and we create these stories about what is um, reality and then what is, what is, you know, what is real and what is not essentially. And with this idea of fear of failure and all of the emotions that go behind that fear, it's ultimately this desire to just not, um, to not give up. It's like this desire to want to do what it is you want to do every single day and be heard and be seen in a big way. I want you to think a little bit about like all the times that you have felt any type of failure in your life at all. It can be when you were, you know, um, a kid and you, you know, maybe you failed at something that you thought that you would do really, really well at. Every single time you hit this wall and you feel like you're failing at what you're doing, what really is happening is these old stories and beliefs are coming up for you about what that fear looks like and about how that fear um, is impacting you in your day to day every day. I want to remind you that every single time you've felt something close to failure, it feels like it's ending. It feels like everything is coming to an end. It feels like it's never going to get to where you want to go. But ultimately though, the, feel, the feeling of failure is the first step in the redirection into where you want to be into where you want to go. And so without that failure, it's very, very hard to... Um, it's almost like you need that feeling to come and you need that feeling to happen in order for you to be able to transform transform this and create it into your reality and really um you know be uh grateful for like everything that you have fear of failure ultimately stems from this this idea that you know what you're going to do is just not you're just not going to make it and it's just not going to be good enough and i think that full transparency fear of failure is like a massive um block that has always limited me for a very long time because I used to get into this place of like, well, if it's not making an impact today, it's never going to make an impact. But it doesn't really matter if it's today. It doesn't matter if it's tomorrow. It doesn't matter if it's the day after. Because every single time you take the next step forward, every single time you put one foot in front of the other to get to where you want to go, you um, you really create this new reality for yourself. And you're stepping into that fear and through that fear and to the other side of where you want to go. Because the failure and the, the fear around the failure is just the reframe and is just the the block that's keeping you from where you want to go when you reframe that and when you're able to take it and transform it then you're able to really step into what the fear is handle it head on and then move through it and i can almost guarantee you i know every single person that's watching this live right now has felt this fear of failure in some sense and how proud have you felt when you get to the other side of that fear? When you make it through what you thought was a failure, how did it redirect you to refocus? How did it redirect you to strengthen your message? How did it redirect you to align more with your purpose? Every time we get that fear 
or failure. It's that little nudge inside us that's trying to tell us that you're on the right path, right? The fear of failure is telling you that you're headed in the right direction, that you're doing the right thing, that you're going in the right direction. And so without this little voice, without this idea of fear of failure and without the little nudges that we get, we're not going to get past that fear of failure if we don't listen, right? It does. So for everyone who's watching the replay here, um, Amanda's word, it feels amazing, strengthens you. It really, really, really does. Working through that fear, because ultimately everything that you do is going to bring you fear in some kind of sense. Fear is always present in everything that you do, but fear is also lies. Fear is also not the truth. Fear is also the opposite of what you want to be, like how you want to be showing up every single day. The fact of the matter is that fear of failure comes from a fear of judgment. Fear of judgment comes from a place of scarcity. Scarcity comes from a scarcity mindset. So how do you take these concepts and how do you transform them into creating a really powerful life and business for yourself, right? If you're not scared to fail, amazing. But if you are scared to fail, take that and make it into, transform it into something that is going to empower you and empower your business every single day. Because if you are in your business, if you are working and if you are in your life, like if your life at all, <laughs> every day, you're going to come across this fear. You're going to come across the idea of failure. You're going to think that today was not good enough, but you know what? That's okay. Because it gives you this opportunity to pick back up again, to reframe your mindset and to keep moving forward. Because if you're in business, you're always going to have hard days. The hard days are almost inevitable. They are um, almost a given, but it's your resilience. Like how resilient are you to work through those days? How resilient are you to get to the other side? How resilient are you to find the solution um, and the other uh, perspective to the fear that you're experiencing? So I want to hop on here ultimately with this video to just really drive home the fact that you might be feeling scared and you might be worried to jump in. You might not be sure exactly what the right next step is and that's okay. You don't need to know what the right next step is. What you do need to do though is listen to your intuition. Listen to the nudges that are coming to you. Look at the fear that you're facing and understand why are you scared to fail? What does the failure mean to you? What is the significance of the failure at the end of the day? Because there's failure, but then under failure, you have a list of reasons as to why you don't feel good enough or a list of reasons as to why it's so important for you to be successful. You know what I mean? So if you can take the feel, the feel, if you can take the failure and sort of reframe it, redirect it, and re-inspire yourself to head on to a different path, to look at failure in a different way, to understand where it's coming from and why it's even being present, you know? Why is that failure making itself known in your life every single day? Why is that specific um, element the thing that's holding you back? Because at the underlying, uh, like the underlying notes of the word failure is there's a reason why it's important for you to not fail. There's a reason why it's important for you to keep moving and to keep going and to keep growing, right? It could be purpose. It can be passion. It can be monetary. It can be service. It can be anything. But ultimately, when you, <laughs> yes. I'm early this time, I believe. We start at 9 a.m. Eastern time, so like 20 minutes. So I'm almost wrapping up here with this video. Um, thank you so much for joining today, though. I'm so grateful for you all hopping on here live. If you're watching the replay of this, please drop any questions in the comments. I love doing these little morning motivationals for you uh, to help you live a really inspired morning and an inspired day. So I challenge you today to take what it is that you're fearful of. If it's success, break it down. If it's making too much money, break it down. If it's, you know, feelings of failure around even getting off the ground, break it down. What does it mean? What does it signify? And why is it important for you to, um, to move through the failure and to move through all of the, the emotions that are associated with it? Oh, you're so welcome, everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining live. I am going to pop off this morning and uh, I will post the replay in my Insta. Oh, yay. Aya, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm going to post um, this replay in my feed on Instagram, on my YouTube channel and in my Facebook community. So if you're not in my Facebook community, get in there because we do lots of fun things that don't happen on here. Um, 
Okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Sending you all my love. Thank you so much for popping on live today with me. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time.